Hi guys, it's Annie from Eclipse All Sports. I'm just wanting to bring you another quick say out review. Uh, today we're going to be looking at this Speedmaster Cricket Bat. So these sit just below the Resolute, which is the Rihani edition. Uh, so it's third in the line of the Sayat Bats. It is Grade 1 English Willow. And um, we'll just take a closer look. So you're getting 10 nice straight even grains. There's a few little speckles, but other than that, it's a very nice looking bat, as you can see there. So you're getting a 41mm edge and a 63mm spine. Uh, the bat's weighing at 210.6 ounce. You're getting a mid-middle position, um, more of a duck bill toe on this one, with the spine rounded off into the toe. And you're getting the spine up into the handle. So a slightly flatter handle at the bottom, medium to thin thickness tapering to a round at the top. You're getting black rubber inserts in the handle. Again, these stickers are not textured or embossed. Um, there's not a great deal of detailing in the stickers, very simple. And then you've just got the Sayat sticker at the bottom there. You've got the new introduction of the burnt in Sayat branding, which looks pretty cool. You've got the factory fitted toe guard. There is probably a minimal concave on this one, uh, just to help keep the weight down. So still getting a nice wide sweet spot. And with those big edges, you're getting plenty of wood for those off-centre shots. So we'll just take a look at the bow. So you're getting a nice bow down towards the toe. And again, like with all these set bats, very flat face, slightly rounded toe. And we'll just go on to the balance and the pickup, and then we'll see how it responds with the Reader Sovereign Cricket Ball. Um, so 210.6. And for me, it probably feels about £2.10. Maybe a touch lighter than £2.10. Um, but it certainly doesn't pick up as well as some of the other set bats and I think that's down to the handle being a little bit thinner, uh, not as thick. The rebound is very good, very responsive, pings really well. The pressing on the set bats is excellent as I've said in the other videos, so you're going to get a very good performing bat. These have not been oiled or knocked in yet. Uh, but the response is excellent. Um, but if you want to improve the balance and pickup, I would recommend maybe adding a second grip or a better quality thicker grip, and it would improve the pickup. Um, but looks wise, it's very good. Nice grains, good feel, good performance, and a good quality bat. We're selling these at two hundred and fifty nine ninety nine, which is good value for money uh, for a Grade One English Willow cricket bat. Uh, you also get a free set bat cover and free UK mainland delivery. So we'll move on to cricket bat number two. And this one's a nice looking bat. Eight even grains. There's a little bit of a wobble down towards the toe, but it's not going to affect the performance. And it's not in the playing area. They're not completely even. They're fairly straight. So edge size wise, you're looking at a 40 millimeter edge. And spine height wise, you're looking at a 67 millimeter spine at its peak, so it's got a massive spine, and you've got that duck bill toe there with the spine up into the handle. Handle, so the handle is a flatter feel towards the bottom. Hopefully, you can see what I mean from there. So instead of you getting a semi oval feel that way, it's going flatter and it's going out that way. So it's kind of a weird feel at the bottom but it feels quite nice and then it tapers to a round at the top like i said in the other video of reviews these grips are quite thin and they're not the best quality so i would recommend replacing or adding a thicker grip we can do that for you uh, free of charge that's not a problem uh, this one's got red rubber inserts in the handle these stickers uh, not textured or embossed like i said on the other, other bat uh, but if you look down that spine you're getting a little bit of concave to help keep the weight down so very difficult to keep it full with that spine being so high so you have got a bit of concave in there uh, but you're still getting plenty of wood for those off centre shots you've got fat fit toe guard nice thick toe as you can see there gentle bow down towards the toe uh, nice flat face again rounded toe so this one is weighing 29.9 ounce so it's a good weight again we'll just see how it picks up Again, this is a medium to thin handle, so we'll see if that affects the pickup. Uh, for me, it picks up nice, feels really nice in the hands, feels light, comes through really well in the shot. I would definitely recommend a second or a better quality grip, but with this thin grip and this thin handle, it still picks up really well. 
Um, so I can only imagine it's going to pick up much better once you put a better quality or a second grip on. But yeah, comes through the shot really well. And we'll just see how it performs with the Reader Sovereign Cricket Ball. And again, absolutely flies. The performance on these set bats is excellent. If you wanted a really good quality cricket bat in terms of performance, then I would look no further than the set bats. The rebound is something a little bit special, guys. And like I say, these have not been oiled or knocked in yet, uh, so they're only going to get better once they've been knocked in. Um, but straight out of the packet, they're probably one of the best bats uh, that we stock in terms of performance. So yeah, really impressed with this one. So this one's cricket bat number two. And again, 259.99, you get the free back cover and free UK mainland delivery. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please do subscribe to the channel. We will be bringing you plenty more video reviews. And we've got the rest of the set range to go through as well. So until next time, I'll speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.